Hello and welcome to Mock Warfighter. My name is Jamie Kelly. I'm the Dean of the College of Operational and Strategic uh, Leadership. It's known as COSL uh, here at the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island. COSL's mission is to improve the capability of our Navy uh, at the operational level of war, to improve the commanders to lead maritime, joint, and multinational forces, as well as improve the capability of the fleets and the CTF staff members to plan, execute, assess, uh, and to function cohesively as a Maritime Operations Center or MOC. Think education in the necessary skills to lead in our naval profession of arms at the operational level. Now, our COSL uh, faculty is focused on supporting combat readiness at the operational level of war uh, through both in-house courses as well as courses that we take on the road. Uh, our Combined Force Maritime Component Commander and Joint Force Maritime Component Commander courses uh, are executive level uh, professional military education for U.S. and international flag and general officers that are designed to prepare them for theater level combat leadership and the broad perspective of uh, operational and strategic levels of war. Uh, the college runs two or three CIFMICs annually with GIFMIC courses just once a year normally done in Newport, Rhode Island and the CIFMIC courses within a specific fleet commander's area of responsibility. COSL also conducts an executive level, uh, operational level of war course, or ELOC, focused at the senior uh, 06 leadership level. This course ensures that attendees are prepared to effectively participate in the commander's, fleet commander's, decision-making process in managing the mock resources. Our Maritime Staff Operators course, or MSOC, provides education and training, planning, execution, and assessment functions uh, and tasks for Navy leaders that are assigned to a mock or other operational level maritime staff. Now these five long, uh, five week long courses are for Navy chiefs and officers that are en route to a mock or operational level staff. The student throughput is currently programmed for about 500 students annually. In addition to those courses, we also have an assist and assess team. We partner with fleet commanders and their staffs in order to provide tailored operational level assistance and education to fleet staffs at their mock sites focused on the identification and the sharing of challenges to the maritime command and control, relevant effective practices, uh, and then additionally, the AAT supports the Navy's mock training continuum, which provides persistent training to our nine mocks around the globe, uh, while a team also provides assistance to the fleet commanders for GIFMIC readiness events. The COSL faculty and staff also conduct strategic planning and policy development for leadership and ethics uh, education as they pertain to the college's responsibility a little bit wider for developing operational and strategic level leaders. In addition to providing educational courses and conducting fleet engagement, uh, COSL is responsible also for assisting in the drafting of several critical maritime operational level of war publications. Those include uh, the Maritime Component Commander's Guidebook, uh, the Naval Warfare Publication 5TAC01, it's Navy Planning, uh, Naval Warfare Publication 3TAC32, which is the Maritime Operations at the Operational Level of War, and finally the Navy Tactics, Techniques and Procedures 3TAC32.1 for Maritime Ops Center. And responding to fleet demand, we're also in the process of developing a three-month-long Maritime Operational Planners course, or MOPSI, with a pilot version scheduled to begin this July 2013. A MOPSI will focus exclusively at the CIFMIC and GIFMIC staff level. It's designed to fulfill and fill critical planner capability gaps between the basic level Maritime Staff Operators course, MSOC, and the high-end Maritime Advanced Warfighting School, or MAWS, uh, that's on the Navy's professional military education continuum. A MOPSI is going to be available to select O3s and O5s en route to Maritime Headquarters in order to build depth and capacity in maritime operational level of war expertise. So today, I'm excited to be here to introduce you to COSL's latest initiative to enhance the fleet's ability uh, to command at the operational level of war, Mock Warfighter. Mock Warfighter is an interactive online, we hope it's interactive, online magazine targeted toward naval officers and senior naval enlisted uh, personnel that are serving on the Mock and the CTF staffs as well as those command agencies, coalition partners, and others who routinely interact with those staffs in order to assist in the development of fleet mocks that can efficiently and effectively command, prepare, execute, and assess at the maritime operational level of war. 
The purpose of mock warfighter is threefold. One, to fulfill the CNO's mandate that officers must possess preeminent expertise and proficiency in planning, organization, and commanding at the operational level of war. Secondly, mock warfighter will provide a forum for airing the most recent issues, concerns, and best practices related to the maritime operational level of war. And the third thing is that mock warfighter will help contribute to the understanding that fleet and CTF staffs are, in fact, critical warfighting enablers that require a cadre of highly trained warfighters that are skilled in this art of warfare. Each edition of Mock uh, Warfighter will include several feature articles uh, written by mock professionals, both here at the Naval War College and out there in the fleet where you are, designed to challenge and stimulate uh, those who are concerned with maritime operational level of war. And one exciting feature of this interactive magazine is that you readers will be able to post comments uh, about the individual articles, uh, and you can note either approval or disapproval of both the article and the posted comments. Uh, it's my hope that you'll take advantage of this interactive capability of Mock Warfighter as we strive to provide you and all of us a forum for airing the most recent issues, concerns, and again, the best practices that are so key uh, that are related to the maritime operational level of war. We also hope to create a strong feeling of group identity and shared knowledge among maritime professionals at this level of warfare. Another exciting feature of Mock Warfighter, excuse me, is the Commander's Corner, which include a video message uh, from military professionals leading in our Navy's operational level of war effort. Think fleet commanders. Recruiting departments will include Mock Reservist, Mock Senior Enlisted, Fleet Updates, Doctrine Updates, key mock reference pubs, mock best practices, as I've mentioned before, and a mock staff officer's guide, as well as critical links that are required uh, to plan and execute. And in the future, we'll add a mock warfighter's toolbox designed to provide you a one-stop shopping location for planners and mock professionals to access templates, worksheets, sample briefs, and other products that are vital to the success, your success during the planning process. Now, as always, we're going to be looking for fleet input to make this the most effective and value-added online magazine that we possibly can. As mentioned, you readers will have the ability to comment on any article. You can submit also both feature articles and letters to the editor for publication and subsequent issues. Uh, submission guidelines will be included on the website. They are included on the website. And please, please feel free to email our editor-in-chief anytime. As we move forward, uh, our editorial board, which is comprised of seasoned retired senior naval officers uh, like myself with hundreds, maybe thousands of combined years, not thousands, of service at both the tactical and operational levels of war, will do its utmost uh, to ensure the magazine's content is relevant and value added to the fleet. And if you like what you see, please share that uh, and share the link via our Facebook feature to a fellow professional. But if you don't like what you see, well, we got no thin skin here and we need that feedback. I hope you enjoy uh, this mock warfighter. It's Kozel's latest effort and War College's later def latest effort to help the fleet improve its ability to plan and execute at that operational level of war. And thanks for joining us today and for what you are doing to carry out the U.S. Navy's global mission. Uh, be safe out there.